happy. Who would have thought? The Great Smoky Mountains National Park. <laughs> Pretty amazing up here. We're Matt and Nat, a part-time, non-remote travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. In 2021, we visited all 50 U.S. states. 2022 took our adventures abroad. Now we've set out on a journey to see as many of the 1,000 places to see before you die. Well, before we die. In our last video, we were on a seven-day Mediterranean cruise where we fell in love with the breathtaking ocean views from our balcony, made four port stops where we explored the beautiful coastal towns and cities, and almost got stranded in Spain when the cruise line made an unfortunate typo on the ship schedule. This week, we're back stateside visiting the Great Smoky Mountains. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Smoky, Smoky Mountains. Mountains. This part of the Appalachian Mountain Range is home to popular tourist cities like Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, and Sevierville, but it's also home to the most visited national park in the country with over 14 million visitors in 2021 alone. I'm talking about the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And with that many visitors, we knew that we had to see what the hype was all about. We're starting off our Smoky Mountain adventures in one of the most popular areas of the park, Cades Cove. We're gonna be driving the 11 mile scenic loop, taking in the mountain views, stopping at some of the historic sites, and also keeping an eye out for wildlife. We hope we get to see some bears. <laughs> but we've heard it can get pretty crowded, and there's already cars entering right now, so we better get to Let's it. Let's go! Here we go. the encounter altogether obviously when you're on the trail or out in the park make noise so any bears know that you're coming what do you start do? to sing along whistle mm, and clap make a lot hands. of noise so we've hit our first traffic jam and we haven't even gotten on the scenic <laughs> loop <laughs> So for those of you that don't know, this 11 mile loop that we haven't even made it to yet can take upwards of like two to three hours to get through, especially on a busy day. And then if you wanna take more time to like drive it multiple times, definitely prepare for that. But thankfully we've put together a blog and travel guide to help you when you come to the Smoky Mountains. We'll talk about everything that we do on this trip and more, so definitely check it out. The link is in the description. Also to help pass the time and gain some awesome knowledge about the Great Smoky Mountains, we highly recommend downloading the Gypsy Guide. We'll put a link down in the description. We used it for our Road to Hana vlog in Hawaii, and we can't recommend it enough. Oh, a deer! <laughs> Did you catch that? I don't know if you did, but anyways. One of the reasons we love the Gypsy Guide so much is because all of the guided cues and instructions and information are all GPS based. We should be so getting close to the left turn. So you don't have to do anything, you just drive. dozen stops along the 11 mile loop. We're obviously not gonna be stopping at all of them, but we did just make our first stop right here behind us at Primitive Baptist Church. Pretty cool, built in 1827, I yeah. believe. But now we're on to the next.
So about halfway through this drive, you get to this visitor center area that has some cabins and historical structures, as well as restrooms. Very important. <laughs> and a gift shop. And that's where we got postcards and goodies for our patrons. So if your name is down below, thank you guys so much. You're yeah. really, truly helping our channel way more than you know. Yes. And if you're interested in becoming a patron, check out the link in the description. We would love to have you in the Patreon family. Now let's go explore these old buildings. <laughs> steps up there, peek through the top of the collar, you can see the top stone in there rotating. So the top stone does all the grinding and it is being powered by the water wheel through these gears under the floor. They get progressively smaller as they lead up to the stone. By getting smaller, they're also getting faster. We're in traffic anyways, you shouldn't be filming. Yeah, look at this guys. Pack your patience. I didn't pack mine. Or snacks. <laughs> So we've been in this traffic jam for a little while and somebody said that there was a bear. Yes, so we're on the lookout. So hopefully we get to see a bear. By the time we get to it, probably won't be there, but I've got my hopes up. <laughs> if you're coming to Cades Cove, remember to be courteous. And if you see wildlife, pull off to the side of the road wherever you can so you don't block <laughs> traffic for, there's probably a mile or two of traffic backed up at this point. Yeah, um, we've been waiting a little while. Yeah, so I understand sometimes you can't and you want to get your shot, but but try to make keep it, it moving. Quick and, keep, yeah, it moving. keep it moving. So unfortunately, we're getting pretty close to the end of the loop and no bear sightings. No, but we do have some final thoughts after doing this for the first time and thought we'd share them with you. Um, it did take us uh, right at three hours to drive this loop. A lot and of we, traffic. And we didn't stop, but at like a handful of the stops. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, oh man, we got leaves and things coming in. Um, <laughs> There is no cell phone service here, so make sure you download your offline map. Also, if you're gonna drive the loop multiple times, which a lot of people do for wildlife spotting, definitely bring some food because there's not really any options once you're on the loop. And speaking of food, we are starving, so yes. we're headed to Gatlinburg for some food. But if you have the opportunity to visit Cades Cove, we totally recommend it. 100%. <laughs> yes, that drive out of Cades Cove took a lot longer than planned for a couple of reasons. Mostly traffic, but also it was really scenic and we made yeah. some unplanned little pit stops. But we have finally made it to Gatlinburg. Now I'm going to go ahead and warn you if you've never been to Gatlinburg, it's not exactly a foodie heaven. No. There's not a lot of local places, mm -hmm. tons of chains, tons of touristy spots. Very touristy. <laughs> but local food is not their strong suit. Fortunately, we yeah. found this place, Tennessee Jed's, and it is 100% locally owned and sourced, and it is right here on the main strip in Gatlinburg, so we had to give it a shot. Yeah, I'm excited. I I got the 
the Frito pie, but I'm pretty I'm excited not, about it. I'm not sure the Fritos were locally sourced, but it's a sandwich shop. Everything looks amazing. I got their Reuben, which is their most popular and loved dish. So let's dive in. Mm. I hit the spot. So lunch was delicious and hit the spot. Now we've got a big activity that we were gonna go do. So there are three main, yeah. I guess you'd call them kind of theme parks right here in downtown Gatlinburg. All of them are about the same price and they all offer very similar things. You have Ober Gatlinburg, the Anac Sky Park, yeah, and, and Anakista. And Anakista. Anakista is the newest one right now, but Ober, we felt like offered more and it was the best bang for the buck. It was definitely the best bang for your buck. Right now they're offering a unlimited risk band for $39 and you yep. get to do all of these amazing things. The only downside to this is yeah. that they close about two hours earlier mm -hmm. than either of the other parks. So we're gonna have less time there, but our trade-off is, like we said, there's more stuff and... Oktoberfest, guys. Yes. It's going on right now. Yes. My German heart is so happy, <laughs> so... So let's go have some fun at Obergallenberg. <laughs> So we rushed over to Obergallenberg and now we're a little annoyed because the Alpine coaster that was included in the wristband is out of service. That's one of the things that really makes that $39 wristband worth it. And without that, I don't know if this is necessarily worth it. The other very annoying thing, and it maybe it was just an uninformed thing on our part, we didn't realize the only two ways to get up to Obergallenberg are take the tram up, which is $22 per adult. Yeah, at the time you're or, watching this. Or you drive up. And and right now it's $15 to park the car. But right now our car is parked on the very opposite end. And we paid for the like a flat rate all day. So yeah, when you're on the main strip and you see the Ober sign, that's not actually yeah, where you Yeah, you have to take the to tram Ober. up. So yeah. we're gonna try and figure out what we're gonna do now because at this point we only have like, it's like two hours to do anything because they close so early. So we're trying to figure out if it's really worth driving all the way up there, paying parking, and then still not even getting the Alpine coaster yeah. or just going somewhere else that's open a little bit later. All right, so I think we've made a decision. We've decided to call an audible. We're going to Skylift Park, which is home to the longest cable pedestrian bridge in oh, North wow. America. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. My favorite part is the fact that there is a glass floor about midway through the bridge. Wait, and what? I can't wait to see this one trying to walk across that. I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm afraid of heights. I don't know if I can do that. It'd be good, you'll be good. Facing our fears today. Oh yeah, great, okay, well. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the chair lift. Yes, it feels so nice. One, to be off my feet. The weather is fantastic though, yes. and look how high we gotta go. It looks like it gets pretty steep. Oh my gosh. Might be a little more of a thrill ride than I expected. <laughs> Um, so you don't realize how high you're going until you look behind you because yeah. you're just focused on what's in front but i mean it's up here and it's steep i don't know how i'm gonna go over this bridge so <laughs> oh gosh look how far awesome thank you <laughs> look at this we just got up here and look what it says we did not deface no. any property but that's the sign we were supposed to be here we did not would not and would not encourage such behavior but <gasps> m and 
Can we talk about how spectacular these views are? Yeah, it's pretty amazing up here. And compared to our experience at Ober Gatlinburg that we did, I yeah. don't know, three to five years ago now, and what we've seen about Anakista, I would say that this is the most chill vibe of definitely. them all. Definitely. Which I am totally okay with, mm -hmm. but it is definitely more of a find yourself a rocker, grab a drink, watch the sunset kind of place. Yeah. Whereas Ober is definitely more amusement like fair park, amusement. fair kind yeah. of thing. And I would say Anakista falls somewhere in the middle of they that. They have zip lines, they have like those bridges that you can cross, but yeah. this is all about really the view, don't you think? Yep. Yeah. Oh, for sure. It's yeah. about the view and just taking in the incredible landscape that you're surrounded with here. So far, I'm really enjoying it. I haven't yeah. done the bridge yet, so I will let you know after <laughs> that. <laughs> better when there's not as many people walking on the bridge. You can't feel it as much. The glass bit is coming up and there's nothing like you can't walk around it. Oh my God. Oh man, I don't think I can do that. Are you serious? Do you see, I have like tears in my eyes a little bit. You don't have to. Oh my God. It helps because it's very scratched. So it's not crystal clear. Oh my god. Man. Man, I'm, I'm feeling you. Ah. You'll go around if you need to. I'm with him. I know, why do they make us do this? <laughs> oh, I've jumped out of planes and I'm still. Me too. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sweating so bad right now. <laughs> I held on the whole time, but I did it. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating so bad. So what did you think of it? It's fine for me. Oh my I loved gosh, it. I'm still the, sweating. The views are awesome. It's awesome being able to look down. I don't know how many oh, hundred yeah. feet this is. And so awesome. Yeah, good for me. The bridge is literally still shaking. <laughs> We're shaking bad. There's a lot of people on it right now. Yeah, so if you guys <laughs> like videos like this, I have to hold on. Please give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> also, hit that subscribe button because as you heard in the intro of this video, we were inspired by the book 1,000 Places to See Before You Die. So we are now on a journey to see as many of those places as we can in our lifetime. Places <laughs> like the Great Smoky Mountains and so many more. So yes, hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you on this journey. We're going back. <laughs> we could have taken a much longer route, the Sky Trail to get back, but Natalie figured she'd already done it. And I we... survived, the glass didn't crack, so I'm going back. <laughs> And that rhyme. This gets us back to a cold drink faster. <laughs> My goal for this go around is to not hold the rail over the glass pieces. No guarantees. No hands. We'll see how it goes. Yes. Like I don't know about that. <laughs> They'll be close to the rail, but not on it. I didn't hold on. <laughs> Matt told me to pull the camera out. So I didn't tell Natalie this beforehand, but I think last year or year before, the glass busted on the bridge, so it was closed for a little while. I heard it was because somebody like tried to do like a baseball slide on the bridge and busted the glass. So it can break technically. Matt. But nobody fell through, it just like. If it even cracked, I literally. <laughs> That's why I didn't tell you. I'm really we were, glad you didn't because I already had tears in my eyes. We're on the home stretch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little windy to be drinking this, but you know, we're going to do our best. Cheers. Cheers. Chili. 
pretty once that sun went down. Oh yeah, but it is absolutely beautiful it up really here. It really is. And we can't recommend it enough, honestly. 10 out of 10 recommend. <laughs> it's definitely not been as action packed as we thought our afternoon would be, mm -hmm. but we're not mad about it. No, we're just gonna go with the flow. If you have time, just check out all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I see some bears. Is that lame? Yeah. The only bears that we've seen this whole trip. <laughs> Thank you, you too. That's so stressful. I don't Dessert before dinner never hurt anybody. I got the cinnamon twist. And I got their classic glazed. And? Oh, oh I did get a Bavarian <laughs> cream filled eclair as well. For after dinner. <laughs> you forgot about yeah, it. Yeah, this is a pre-dinner dessert and I had to have a post-dinner dessert. Obviously. I did want to say that we visited about 30 to 45 minutes before they closed. Yeah, so they so, didn't have the hugest yeah, selection. Yeah, so their selection was a little slim, but I don't blame them on that one. I mean, what do you expect at the end of the day? Let's dive in. Oh, baby. Even at the end of the day, yep. these donuts are fire. It's a nice, dense dough, but still pillowy inside, if that mm -hmm. makes any sense. No, it does. And I really like the textures of these donuts. I recommend them. Donut fryer for the win. All right, back in the car, headed yes. to dinner. Yes, we're gonna head back to the Pigeon Forge area, which is where we're staying. And we were able to find another local restaurant right near our hotel, so that is a win. I got the Tennessee Whiskey Glazed Burger. It comes up with smoked bacon, crispy onions, and a garlic aioli. First impressions, it looks really nice. Their whole menu advertises hand-cut fries, and these are not hand-cut fries. And I'm not gonna lie, they're kinda just warm. They're not super fresh. A little disappointing. So I got the baby back ribs. I got the half rack. The same thing with Matt. I'm a little disappointed. I looked on Google reviews, and these are not the fries that they usually have, so I don't know about that. But let's dive in. I think they've nailed the flavors, but their textures are pretty far off. The bacon is way too undercooked and floppy. There's nothing crispy on this burger, really. Even the crispy onions have kind of soaked up that whiskey glaze, so they're not even crunchy at all. The bun is really delicious, but it could have benefited from being toasted. Again, flavors are awesome, but textures leave a little bit to be desired. So they fell right off the rib, so I'm just gonna eat it with a fork, I guess. It's a good baby back rib. Not a ton of flavor. I guess it's not smoked or anything. The fries are completely cold. It's kind of hard to keep these warm. Now the ketchup is homemade. Ketchup's really delicious. The barbecue sauce is good. It doesn't have that much flavor. It's a little like thin, and maybe that's why the barbecue doesn't have that much flavor, but it's good. I like supporting local. It's a good meal. Not great, but yeah. Just finished dinner and it was a little underwhelming, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately so. We had really hoped that this place was gonna be great. The reviews online were incredible. Literally a 4.6 stars, 11 plus thousand reviews. So our yes. expectations were kinda high. Yeah, they were. And like Natalie said, unfortunately they were let down. Yeah, I don't know if it's cause it's leaf peeping season. So it's in the high season and yeah. maybe they just they're a little overwhelmed. The I don't, I don't know. The ketchup was the best thing. <laughs> and that's awful. <laughs> Yeah. If that was the best. But you know, yeah, 
have. It's just more proof to our point that Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge isn't really a foodie destination. We're still gonna try though, okay? Yes, so we're, we're still we're gonna, gonna give it our best shot gonna tomorrow. We're do our best to find those foodie gems. I don't know if we'll succeed or not. Stop, but. <laughs> you gotta be positive. Anyways, we are exhausted, so yes. we're actually going to head to bed. That's right, because we have a big day planned tomorrow, yep. so we'll see you then. Good morning! <laughs> We're actually getting a little later start than planned today. We spent the last two and a half hours in a timeshare <laughs> sales pitch meeting thing um, so we could save money on this trip. Yeah. Uh, spoiler alert, we didn't buy anything. No, but anyways, <laughs> we're here at one of the most famous restaurants here in Pigeon Forge, the Old Mill Restaurant. Is it touristy? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it delicious? Let's find out. All right, so there is a wait. They don't really have a call or text option, but the cool thing is they have a general store here. They called our name, so we're going. <laughs> Every main entree comes with a cup of corn chowder and a basket of corn fritters with honey butter. I can go ahead and tell you I'm probably gonna love the corn fritters and honey butter. What's not to love about that? Let's try this corn chowder. It's mm, really good. It's got a little bit of spice on the front end of it, but it like dissipates really quick, so it's not like a heat that sticks around. Got chunks of corn and potato in here. Super creamy, peppery. We're definitely off to a very good start now for some corn fritters. Look how pillowy that thing is. Oh man, we're gonna have to get another one of these. Oh, that honey butter, you're gonna love them. <laughs> so good. It's like Natalie said, the texture of these is much more like a cake, but there's no sweetness to it. All the sweetness comes from that honey butter, but they're big, I don't know if you can see, they're big, oop. Oh. There are big chunks of corn within the batter. They're super good. I'm a fan. So I got the country fried chicken, the leg version, because I love a good drumstick. I got the country fried steak. Looks nice and crispy on the outside, and it's, of course, smothered in scratch gravy. A little bit tough and honestly a little blander than I expected. You get the pepper from the gravies and the flavor of the beef, but beyond that, there's not a whole lot going on. So-so. Mm, so this knife may look normal to you from this angle, but when I flip it this way, <laughs> somebody really gave this one a go. I mean, the whole tip is bent over. I think it's pretty useless. <laughs> I like the breading that they put on it. The chicken is juicy. I'm a fan. I'll have to give Matt one. Super crispy, super juicy. It's fried to perfection. Yours is way better than mine. If you're coming here and you're torn between the fried chicken or the country fried steak, fried chicken is 100% the way to go. Okay, I'm obsessed with the corn fritter, so I asked for more, and they gave me a free biscuit. They were probably like, that girl looks like she'd like a biscuit. And <laughs> guess what? They were not wrong. This thing is delicious, so get yourself some biscuits, okay? <laughs> All right, well, I'm stuffed after eating my weight in biscuits and corn <laughs> fritters, but the meal was really good. Yes, I would say everything other than my main entree, which was the country fried steak and yeah. the green beans. Yeah, so you can't change the sides. It's literally everybody gets the green. corn chow the corn fritters. Yep, green beans and mashed potatoes. Yeah, those are non-negotiables. Yes. So, everything else was delicious though. I think I just picked the wrong entree because Natalie's chicken was great. Everything was great. Mm -hmm. But we <laughs> love the little area that it's yeah. in. Yeah. So we're gonna go check out a couple of stores yeah. and maybe try some moonshine? I don't know, maybe we're so. in Maybe so, you ready for some white lightning? No, not really, <laughs> but we're gonna do it for the video. <laughs> experience of that. Definitely come check this place out. I'm 
never in my life seen moonshine taffy, so obviously we're in Tennessee, we had to get it. Absolutely. I don't and, know what it's gonna taste like. And a little pro tip, uh, they do give samples of these. We didn't want to like buy a pound of taffy, so we just grabbed like four flavors we thought we'd like, a couple moonshines, a couple others. And they gave it to yeah, us. Yeah, they were like, ah, we give samples, just take them. So, so that's that very really sweet, sweet of them. Here. Moonshine taffy, ready? It smells good, cheers. Okay. Cheers. Oh. What? A little burn on the front end, doesn't it? It actually did. I don't know I, how they accomplished that. It did taste like a little like rubbing alcohol or something, you know? <laughs> but, I didn't think so. No. I don't know what it is. You still get a burn the more know, you chew. Is, is that real moonshine? Alcohol? Yeah. No way, because it wouldn't set like this. That is interesting. I've never had anything like it. Not bad, though. No. It's sweet. This piece of I taffy like will last me 30 minutes. Oh, I already chewed. Because I don't chew my dabby. I hate getting stuff stuck in my teeth like that. Do you guys chew? Do you guys... You just suck on I'm it? A, I'm a taffy sucker. Oh, Lord. You're a taffy chewer. What do you do with your taffy? Moonshine taffy. Who would have thought? <laughs> Welcome to Tennessee, y'all. You're just going to have to try it for yourself, okay? And let us know we've, in the comments if you try moonshine yeah, taffy. Yeah, we've done you no good in explaining what it tastes it's like. It's unlike anything I've ever had in my life, so. That's interesting. <laughs> Moonshine time. Let's go check it out. Old Forge Distillery. All right, so they give you 10 free samples. They do work off tips, so make sure you guys bring cash. Yeah, and, but um, they're a pretty generous sample. I mean, they're not huge, but yeah. I mean, you get a good taste of it. And yeah, that's a pretty good deal in my book. So we're waiting in line. <laughs> Foster. And I got their oatmeal cookie. She said this is kind of like a banana Laffy Taffy, and this is like Christmas in a cup. This is exactly like a banana Laffy Taffy. That oatmeal cookie. She said it was one of their best sellers, and it's really good. It's like an iced oatmeal cookie. That's good. One down. We've only got a burn. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Pumpkin roll. Blackberry. I mean, they're full. Ooh, she said that the blackberry would be really good with lemonade. I can totally see that. They do a really good job at the flavors matching with what they say they are. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you taste stuff and you're like, mm, maybe a little bit. This literally is a boozy pumpkin spice. I did a key lime. <laughs> uh, this is French toast. She Matt said, keeps doing dessert. She said it's like breakfast in a jar. So, mm. how's yours? What was this? <laughs> oh my god. Ah, this is so tart. Tart and a burn. Ooh. I've liked everyone I've had so far, honestly. <laughs> their coffee's one of their best sellers, she said, and I can absolutely see why. I bought it for my mom, actually. Oh, well, you did, I remember, yeah. A long time ago. Yeah. All right, how many more do I got? One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. We're only halfway through. Dang, dude. I think they start tasting better and better as you get <laughs> Backwards cut, AKA white wine. Yeah, straight off the still, not cut with anything. 40 proof. Yeah, rubbing oh. off all. Ready? Mm. No, I wasn't ready. Blackberries. <laughs> That'll put hair on your chest. Hopefully not yours. I feel like I literally could light my breath on fire. My lips are chapped a little bit and it burns. Burn. Just drink. <laughs> Wet in the death. <laughs> That'll get you warmed up. Yeah, well, thank you so much. <laughs> Look, I'm like flushed. You are flushed. <laughs> that moonshot did a number on her. Yeah. yeah, no, it was definitely hot in there. There were yeah. so many people yeah. trying stuff, but we got to meet some new friends. That was yeah. really cool. Yeah. And now we are headed to the most exciting place in Pigeon Forge. Dollywood. <laughs> if you guys don't know, Dolly Parton is my Spirit idol. Spirit animal. Pretty much. And also she's the queen of America. You know, so <laughs> we are gonna go to Dollywood. <laughs>
go to Dollywood all day. We would have loved to, but it is a little bit pricey. They're running a special right now. If you enter the park after 5 p.m., it's only $55 per person. I know I say only like it's not a lot of money. That still is pretty steep. Dollywood is worth it. Yes, but they have their great pumpkin luminites, which is all of their fall decorations, and it's all lit up for the fall season, and we've never been during this time of the year, so it should be pretty amazing. We're in. <laughs> Okay, so if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with theme parks. I get too excited. I start running. It's the only time I walk real fast it's, it's and run. It's the reason that her brother will probably never go to a theme park with her. He said, I will never do it again because I'm literally, I was like, come on. Matt goes, are you going to let me get ahead of you? 10 minutes? That's it. Right. Reason why I love Dollywood, the lines best, are never crazy. I would argue best ride in the park. A thousand percent. Lightning, lightning rod. rod. Let's go. <laughs> Even though the wait says 20 minutes, I can't talk Natalie out of it. I don't think it's 20 minutes. Have y'all ever seen her walk so fast? <laughs> I put on my comfy shoes. Look, have you ever seen me wear sneakers? I once rode this ride five times in a row. Tell them what else you did on this ride. Okay, long story short, I had my phone in my back pocket and they tell you not to. And during one of those bumps, it fell in front of me. I was in the front row. I tried to grab it and then it flew off. <laughs> and then I had to get somebody after hours to go get my phone because I found it on find my iPhone and it didn't crack. So I mean, long story short, don't bring your loose items on the ride. <laughs> so happy i love roller coasters <laughs> so much and i will say that is one of the better coasters it honestly we've done a lot yeah, of coasters we have that is and, one of the good ones and even though it is a wooden coaster it isn't bumpy and no, rough it like rides some of like, the other ones i've yeah, done before so highly recommend you gotta do it so we're gonna go check out some of the pumpkins i think yeah and just i mean the fall foliage is absolutely gorgeous it right really now, so is we got a few minutes of daylight left <laughs> So since we've been to Dollywood a couple of times, we're probably not gonna do like the Dolly Museum and all that kind of stuff, yeah. but highly recommend if you are a Dolly Parton fan, check it out. Those museums yep. are amazing. Like this one, yep. which is her childhood home. Oh yeah. And if you have the opportunity, spend the whole day here. Oh, absolutely. Um, especially if it's your first time. Yeah. promise you that we will be back for this later. This is the only theme park that I know that have like craftsmen. Yeah, so that's one of the things I really do love about Dollywood is it does feel a lot less commercialized, yeah. even though I know it is, but it feels a lot less than other theme parks. And they've really just like tapped into the theme. They have like bluegrass music yeah. playing the whole time. You're surrounded by the mountains and the architecture just fits the scenery. Mm -hmm. I really love it. So let's go see if somebody's making candles. <laughs> are 
Awesome. <laughs> Looks like we're doing the Tennessee Tornado. Yeah. Time for the Wild Eagle. Ah! I think I'm pretty wind As a wind <laughs> <laughs> That one is buttery smooth, even though our hair doesn't look like it. Yeah, that one's, that one's an easy ride. <laughs> we're gonna go meet a pumpkin. <laughs> I'm the only adult in line with all the children. <laughs> We're doing the mine ride, and guess what? Your adventure begins in zero minutes. Yes! yes! And this is another one of Natalie's papers. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest pumpkin I have ever seen, 1,900 yeah. yeah. pounds. That's insane. <laughs> what are we doing now? We are headed to get my favorite thing in the park, cinnamon bread. Let's go. <laughs> my dreams are coming true. So we got one loaf, obviously. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Even without the icing? It is just good just by itself. Mm. Oh, that icing, ma'am. I've never had better cinnamon bread in my life. No, seriously. 10 out of 10 recommend. Never disappoint. It's an absolute must if you come to Dollywood. For sure. Also, another thing that's really great about Dollywood is they do awesome things with the season. So, like, obviously, we're here in fall. They have food that represents fall. Yep, we came during a, like a national food fest they were doing. So they yeah. had foods to represent a bunch of different countries around the world. So that's really cool. Christmas time, they have just tons of awesome seasonal options. Yeah. I mean, it's brilliant marketing because it makes you want to come back multiple Every times season, yeah. that year because you're going to get stuff that you couldn't get at another time of the year. Yeah, and the great thing is that the cinnamon bread is all year long. That is right. <laughs> So after all of those calories that we just yes. consumed. And let me just tell you, that bread was everything I remembered it being and more. He's so happy, but <laughs> I think we're gonna take a loop one more go around. Yep, because it's now dark and we can actually take in all the lights rather than earlier when it was kind of like sunset. So. Yeah, we only have like 30 minutes left till the park closes, so we gotta hustle. Let's go. It's probably my favorite little lighted section of the Yeah, bottom. this is epic. <laughs> As a big Dolly fan, I can't think of a better way to end our time here in the Great Smoky Mountains. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed watching this video because we sure have enjoyed making it. If you are planning a trip to come to the Smokies, check out our blog. The link is down in the description. We have a ton more recommendations on things to do, plus some pro tips. Also, don't forget, if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. We're on a journey to see as many of the 1,000 places to see before we die, so we hope that you subscribe to join in on the adventure. But that's gonna do it for this video, and we'll see you next week. Ooh, it is a chilly 43 degrees this morning. What? So in Matt Nap fashion, we're running light. <laughs> <laughs> I had a mustache for a second. Gosh, look at that, money. <laughs> Front pocket. <laughs> that embarrassed me. I said that looked like cheese and Matt pretended to eat it. Oh, that does smell good. Take mm. a bite, it tastes good too. I think I'm actually more this one. It's, that looks like me. This is more me. It's that one's like short and stumpy. Not you. I said the emojis. Well, you know what? You I fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No, yeah, you're good. <laughs> oh, bro, Malcolm. Here we go. That was a bad kiss, though. That was a bad one. The blacksmith's not working today. Why do you think he has a Tuesday off?
We have a Tuesday off, that's why we're here. <laughs> we were supposed to be, whoa, sorry about that. What'd you wish for? I wish that he'd subscribe. <laughs> like that? <laughs> no.